find the x. We could use fractions here, but let's cancel them all out and clear the fractions, fractions, fractions using the LCD. So we need to find the LCD of 6, 2, and 4. So I take 6, 2, and 4, and I'm going to find the multiples. So we get 6, 12, uh, 18, 24, 2, we get 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 4 is 4, 8, 12, so up I see 12 is going to be my LCD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this side by 12, and I'm going to multiply this side by 12. What I do to one side, I do to the other. Now watch how this works. I got to do a double rainbow over here. So I'll end up getting 12 times negative 5 over 6. x plus 12 times 1 half equals 12 times 3 over 4. I just moved the 12 in the front. So now let's do some more math. 12 times negative 5 is going to be 60 or negative 60 over 6x plus 12 times 1 is a 1. Sorry, 12 divided by 2 equals 12 times 3, which is going to be 36 over 4. Now, do you notice something? That negative 6 divided by 6 is just 10. So we got 10x. 12 divided by 2 is just 6. And 36 divided by 4 is just 9. And now we look at this problem, and it's a lot easier. So I'm going to subtract 6 from both sides, right? Cancel that out. 9 minus 6 is going to be uh, 3. We get 10x here. Oh, i got to follow the negative, right? Negative 66, 10x, okay? And then I get negative 10x equals 3. Divide both sides by 10. Negative 10x ends up equaling negative 3 over 10. And that's an easier way to do this than dealing with the fractions, because we end up getting a prettier answer.